Hi, my name is Anna Sarah and I'm Director of Listings Development with the Canadian Securities Exchange. I'm here in Kelowna on September 13th for our CSC Talks Cannabis in the Capital Markets and have the pleasure of having our CEO Richard Carlton join us as well. Richard, thank you for coming all the way to Kelowna this morning from Toronto. Good afternoon, Anna. On the Rouge flight at that. <laughs> Screaming babies and all. We've had a really interesting year in the sector. Is there anything that you want to talk about that's happened as of recent? Well, I've actually just seen the uh, financing stats uh, through the end of the month of uh, August. And in fact, CSE issuers collectively have gone through $2 billion raised uh, in the public markets uh, this year so far, which is a tremendous accomplishment uh, for the uh, entrepreneurs that uh, have chosen to list on the Canadian Securities Exchange. And 81% of that uh, amount was in fact raised by uh, issuers in the cannabis sector. And I think it's fair to say that we're seeing uh, you know, some, some important trends uh, in investment in the sector at this point. We're obviously seeing a number of uh, quite large uh, United States operators uh, choose to access uh, capital through the Canadian uh, equity markets, which is very encouraging not just for the Canadian Securities Exchange, but really for the entire ecosystem. You know, the dealers, the advisors, uh, the accountants, the lawyers, um, and uh, obviously for investors who've done tremendously well in the sector uh, this year so far. Um, we're also seeing, uh, uh, again, companies that are focusing on the uh, por developing portfolios of intellectual property in the space. And that obviously takes a number of different forms. We have uh, companies that are looking at extraction technologies, uh, but also that are looking to build uh, uh, brands at the retail level, for example. And I think uh, if you talk to the analysts, uh, you know, they're really interested in these stories because this is probably where sustainable margin uh, will be uh, earned by uh, companies uh, in, in that space, whereas the cultivation area is likely to be one of scale and we're, again, likely to see uh, significant consolidation as people look to cut costs to become the low-cost supplier uh, in, in Canada. Wonderful. Obviously the retail investor loves the sector, but have you seen a shift in the institutional side? We're certainly seeing a lot of institutions that are participating in the space, um, and in many cases, I think, for the first time. Um, and I think part of the uh, attraction now is, uh, is tied to the U.S. Uh, issuers. Um, they show up uh, in the Canadian markets as uh, more mature businesses than uh, we've seen to date. Uh, these are companies with several quarters of operating history, and in fact, a number of them are already profitable and generating significant returns already. And I think uh, institutional investors who were perhaps uh, a little bit concerned about perhaps the speculative nature of uh, some of these securities uh, are more interested in the companies that in fact have operating track records at, uh, at this point. Absolutely, and any thoughts on where you think the next stage is gonna happen for the sector itself? Well, I think we still have a long, long way to run uh, in the United States in particular. Uh, and as I mentioned, I think we're going to see, uh, again, with legalization uh, almost on our doorstep at this point, a lot of investment in Canada uh, in the consumer branding, uh, retailing space, over-the-counter pharmaceuticals. And again, uh, those areas aren't particularly well developed uh, because obviously we're not legal for recreational purposes uh, yet, which is really going to drive a lot of that uh, uh, business development, I think. Wonderful. Well, thank you again for making the trip out. Looking forward to today's event. Thank you very much, Anna. Thank you.